Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to make a profile picture. So here's the deal. I'm on my Twitter that I recently made mainly to track coding and do kind of nerdy things and kind of have like a place for people to DM me and stuff. So I like my background. The photo's a great photo, don't get me wrong. But I want like the cool color in the background like some of these guys have because I feel like it looks cooler. So I want to remove my background and kind of make it look cooler. So I'm gonna be using Canva. Now Canva, there's a free version and a pro version. I have the pro, but that's because I'm making like thumbnails for every YouTube video. I like the all the extra stuff that they have, like the background remover and you can make presentations and animations and there's just like, you can use everything. It's really annoying if it's like locked for me. So I have the pro, it's like $12.95 a month. I highly recommend it. I'll link mine below so you can um, use that if you wanna get the pro version. But I do have kind of a um, get around if you do not want to pay any money and you're like a college student. I remember being you <laughs> and I had, I did not have $12 to spare a month. So I will show you a little trick to get something for free, but we're gonna be mainly using Canva. So you're gonna go ahead and press create a design you're gonna put in 800 by 800 and then press create new design. Once you're here, I'm gonna to go to what I've made. So you'll see I've made a very similar thing, except for I've added a circle. So if you go in here and type in circle into the elements, just click one and then resize it, make it a different color, whatever you wanna do. And what I have that for is, and I changed the transparency on it. So I kind of moved it to like 50 so I could see through it because when you upload it to Twitter, it's a circle, right? So you gotta be like super careful um, when it comes to that. So let's go to my profile and you'll see it's a circle, um, no big deal. So once you have that set up, then you're going to upload your photo. You can upload it from any file that you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and click mine and then I'm going to resize it pretty big because I want it to cover maybe not that large um actually I kind of want it that big we'll see so once you click it you can press edit image and then you can remove the background but if you don't have the pro version you can go to this site remove.bg upload your image and it'll remove the background for you and then re-upload it back into canva that's like the go around if you don't want to spend extra money on the pro version. But if you do have the pro, you can just press edit image and then remove background or BG remover. And then see how it looks. I have some hairs up here that I want to fix. It looks pretty good, but you can zoom in and kind of, wow, that's a big part of my face and erase some pieces. And I'm going to make my thing like super tiny and get rid of some of these hairs here because that's like not attractive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And maybe this little, oh God, this is like really stressful. Um, and then I kind of want to get some down here, but I also don't want to fuck this, this photo up. Okay, good enough. Oh, there's some kind of some shit down here that I want to remove. Oh gosh, this is like very stressful. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I was really worried I was gonna like mess it up. Then press done and it looks pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but it's good enough. I mean, it's a profile picture. Let's relax here. I'll make it a little bit bigger now that I see kind of like, you can kind of see what it looks like if you bring this guy forward or make your photo, send it backward. Go on stupid photo, send backward. Now you can kind of see what it'll look like, where it cuts it off. So I'm gonna make it slightly bigger. Now this is like my OCD getting in the way here. You don't have to be this picky. And then once you're done, kind of pick your, you can delete out that circle and then pick out a color. So you can click the background, that white part that we had and go ahead and change it to any color that you want. You can also use this little color dropper and then just pick a color. If I want it to match this color up here, that's kind of what I chose. I just click this and then hover over that to pick the color. But I feel pretty good about that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download and then we will download just, I don't need it all pages. I was trying, kind of trying to play around with this thing. 
and I'm gonna go press done and download this bad boy. And then what we'll do is we'll post it on my Twitter. So let's go to Twitter. And well, first I need to save this. So let's open up this file and it pops up my other screen. It's kind of cute, I like it. We're gonna save this inside, um, not Camtasia, but in my Notion picture, Notion pics. So you can save it wherever. I have a specific place that I wanna save it. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on Twitter, edit profile. Cool, cool, cool. Change la photo. And we're gonna go find that beauty. Apply. And bam, save. And it looks 10,000 times better. So you can change up the color. Um, and now when I tweet, it's not so like lame. I might mess with the color a little bit, but I think it looks really cool. I might do like a double layer. I've seen a lot of people doing the double layering with the circles. And that's what I kind of tried to do with this guy. So I'm gonna try this one out and we'll see if it works. I think it's kind of cool, but I'm not sure if the circle thing will work, but that is how you remove your background and kind of make a cooler photo. So um, let me know what you guys think if I should do a different color. I kind of want to stick with purple because, you know, it has a purple next to it. And so when I tweet out, it looks more like this. And let's go find it like this. Now it's kind of hard to see my face. So I might zoom in on my face because I don't know if I need to see that much body. But overall, it's a lot better than the woods background because it makes no sense. Like I'm a coder. Why do I have woods in my background? I'm not outside coding. <laughs> so... Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the color and if you have any other tips and tricks outside of Canva that you use to kind of up, update your profile pictures and just leave a comment below.